So I've decided to go back to wearing underwear. Why did I decide to stop going commando? Oof. How do I say it? How do I say it? Um, all right, dude, just spit it out. Just spit it out. So these last couple weeks, I've been looking into wearing more cotton, more linen, more natural fiber clothes, right? Because since 2024, I've been tossing out clothes that no longer fit me. They are clothes that don't express or reflect how I want to show up in this world. So within all of that, I have come across the conclusion that what I thought was correct may have not been or there's a better way for me to go about it and that is me going commando and wearing underwear on certain occasions so hear me out in my previous clip i've talked about how i don't wear underwear for the simple fact that my portal needs oxygen right it needs to breathe unless i am on my period or unless it's like too cold or it's too hot and i just want some extra support in that area so fast forward to about the last couple weeks i've been looking into more natural fiber clothing because all in all it is healthier for our skin and for our temple because the synthetics like polyester spandex and all those other ones out there that is common and typically cheaper it comes with a certain frequency okay um because it's made from fake material nine times out of ten from like plastics and that's like us putting plastic on our entire body on our skin and it's not allowing the proper airflow to come in and out but it's also emitting a certain frequency that lowers your overall auric field when I began to really think on that, I'm like, wait, hold on. So I've been going commando in polyester clothes. Uh, something's not adding up here. Make it make sense. So I begin to think, okay, so maybe when I wear polyester or fake material clothing, that i am transitioning out of maybe it's best to wear underwear now hear me out hear me out for the sake of protecting my portal and to help her get the right environment okay as much as possible when i choose to put on synthetic fiber um clothing for example instead of just putting on fitness clothes like i have on um hold on let me put my leg up well you can't really see but like i currently have on i think these are a blend of cotton and spandex or cotton and polyester i don't know it's not 100 percent cotton or linen or wool so it's some fake materials in these tights so instead of going commando in synthetic clothing a way that i can still protect her and allow her to receive proper airflow is to put on cotton underwear at least she will have some type of shield and not touching these 
these synthetic fibers skin to clothes. So it is like I am going backwards here in time. However, I'm not. I'm just now able to assess, experiment, and see and just keep on, keep keeping on. I mean, that's what life is about to continuously improve. Con come on continuously evolve and just live so i'm like hold on i gotta let the people know because it might help them too it might help you to come to some point in your womanhood where you like wait that might help me too or wait that makes sense to me too so when I do wear cotton clothes, um, that will probably be the time that I don't wear cotton underwear because I'm already in the, the natural material. However, when I do wear polyester or other synthetic clothing, then I can pull out the cotton drawers as a means of protection as a means of security and comfort because them polyesters and all that stuff i be sweating y'all i be hot and just because you go commando or just because you are more health health um conscious does not mean that you just automatically stop sweating like no if if it's hot outside in the heat and the temperature is rising <laughs> sweat will be produced and it's going to come out so i think this is going to be good i think it's going to be good y'all let me know if you wear cotton underwear let me know if you are into wearing natural fiber clothing because that's something that i am coming into i went to the thrift store the other week and i was like <laughs> i just hit the jackpot because typical cotton clothes and natural fibered clothing it's expensive you pay for quality you will definitely pay for quality like i was looking up some um tops i think they were like 38 bucks for for a plain top I was looking up skirts and stuff. It was like $150, 120 85 hours. I'm like, what? Just for some linen and cotton? Oh, nah. So I hit up some people, and they was giving me tips on places. And one sis said to hit up the thrift store because that's where she gets a lot of um, hers from. And it splits the cost. The, um, cost tremendously and boy oh boy when i just happened to go past this thrift store that was close to my house i was like hmm let me go and check this place out because this was just telling me and i'm and i am on the hunt for cotton clothes now for more natural material clothing when i say y'all i went into that thrift store y'all y'all i was shocked i left there i spent about 65 bucks with maybe about like 13 12 no probably like 13 15 pieces of clothing y'all that's a still a win is a win a normal cotton t-shirt is about 30 dollars so that was like the price of two to three shirts and I walked out with like 12 to 15 pieces of clothing, y'all. So, thrift, you done found a new customer, all right? I will be there. I will be there. Let me know in the comments if you shop or wear natural fiber clothes, clothing. And let me know if this helps. All right, I love y'all. Stay beautiful out there.